the tendency that you have to change people to make them be what you would like them to be, the way you would like them to be. And then you become so upset and you become so nervous. Why people don't change? And you are fighting against them all the time. Sometimes it's a spillover to, out of your family. You get to church and you are fighting against people and nothing here is right and people are doing everything wrong. Things don't work as they should. And then you don't realize that you are the one who needs to change. You need to accept that you can't control people. You can't control the reality. You need to accept things as they are. And it's interesting that when you really accept things as they are, when you really accept people as they are, you have more power to influence them. When you come from a position of acceptance, you have more power to help someone changing. So for example, I, I have now about 250 hours of counseling, uh, or maybe 300, I'm not sure, people that I am counseling I need a total of 1,750 hours to uh, complete my internship. But uh, what I want to say is that if my client is speaking about his life and I start judging him and thinking, huh, wow, how can it be? What kind of person he is? See the things that he does. He all messed up. And I become upset with him and nervous. And I, I start, you know, uh, uh, having some bad feelings uh, about him. I can't help him anymore. Especially if I am too worried about him. If I want to save him with all my power. And I become obsessed about helping him. About trying to say the right word. And you have to change. You can't be this way. I can't help him anymore. <laughs> he's going to feel the pressure and he's going to go away. And it happens with people too. When you are fighting against people, trying to change them, nervous, upset with them, you have to do this and that. You don't see this and you don't do that. You lose the battle. You can't change anymore. But if you are in a position of acceptance, if you are relaxed, if you are calm, if you love people as they are, if you can see their mistakes without being upset, without being nervous, without being overwhelmed, stressed, if you can stay calm and cool watching their mistakes and their flaws, then you are in a position that you can help them. You can influence them. Because if you don't accept people, they resist you. That's a natural thing. They resist your control. They defend from you. And then they're going to have a battle. And you are going to be frustrated. You are going to be unhappy. You need to accept people as they are. Accept your child. Maybe your child is not the one you would like to be, right? You see some aspects in your child that you, you feel sometimes stressed. You think that your child should be different. You are always trying to give advice. You are always trying to control your child. You are always giving the solution to your child. You need to do this and do that. You want to jump right there and save your child. You know, give space. Accept. Accept your child as it is. Accept your spouse as he or she is. And you're going to see the power of acceptance. And isn't what God does with us? Why God doesn't come and jump right here, Claudio? Here is the, the control of the computer. <laughs> Why an angel doesn't come here, Claudio? Come here. The control is right here. Right? No, he just stays there, cool. I'm having a trouble here trying to find, but 
He's there. Letting things come as they are. In this is wisdom. It's, tried, it's hard to understand sometimes. And so something that we need to overcome is perfectionism. So the perfectionism, the true perfectionism is in love, is in forgiveness. And we need to accept even our difficulty to accept. <laughs> I'm going to explain you. Uh, I am talking to you about my own experience because I always have a hard time accepting myself. I couldn't accept my mistakes. And because of this, I was very nervous when I played in front of people. So in Brazil, I played in a restaurant, but I was very, very shy. I, I would say that I had phobia. And I want to go, you know, below or under the, the piano. So shy I was. And I, when I played classical music, I remember that once I was uh, participating in, in an audition of other students, and I was so nervous that I was shaking my hands, my legs, everything was shaking. And I really messed up the whole thing because I couldn't control my hands, you know? I was not playing too bad the song, but because of my, my emotional state, I couldn't really control myself. And if you are very worried about your performance, if you are a very perfectionist, you can become so nervous, so stressed, that adrenaline is going to be bumped to uh, your blood, and the heart is going to beat very, very fast. And if this situation gets to a point, for example, if your heart is beating more than 120 per minute, you can lose control. You can make some mistakes that you wouldn't make if you were calm. And why? Because you don't accept yourself. You fear making a mistake. And why do you fear making a mistake? Well, one thing is because since you don't accept yourself, you think that people don't accept you either. So you imagine you are right here, and then you are worried about everyone, what they are thinking about you. And if you make a mistake, they are going to reject you. They are going to have a bad, you know, concept about you. And because of this, because of this worry, you become very stressed, very nervous. So I got to the point that I didn't play classical music anymore. I stopped playing classical music because I couldn't I couldn't bear my own emotions. I couldn't control myself. I have overcome, but not totally. So I am in the process of overcoming uh, uh, this worry or this shyness. But I, uh, sometime I prepared a song. It was a very, very hard song. Especially that there was a part of the song that I played several times. You know, for several weeks until I could really master it and could, I could have it under my fingers. And then I was invited to play in a church, and I thought about playing this piece. And I started the song, and all was going well, and I was really happy. I, I was thinking, wow, I can do this song. I can play it. But when I got close to that part, the heart started beating faster and stronger and the fear came and when I got to the part suddenly I forgot it 